Hi, and welcome back to the No Opinion News Network. I'm your host, Chris, and this is your Wednesday, November 11th, 2020 Daily News Briefing. First off, before we get started, I would like to wish all my fellow brothers and sisters who have served a very happy Veterans Day. Thank you so much for your service. Jumping right into stimulus, if you receive a text message from the IRS saying to click here to claim your $1,200 stimulus check, do not do it. This is a fraudulent text. It takes you to a fake IRS site and they will try and get your information. So once again, if you receive a text message saying to click here for your stimulus check, do not do it. Joe Biden has stated that he wants a stimulus package before he is sworn in. But if this does not happen, he will make it a priority once he takes over the presidency. Democrats are upset with Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi gambled on getting a bigger stimulus package, but now it looks like it'll be much lower with targeted smaller packages. As far as stimulus checks are concerned, there is no word. The only thing that they have been talking about has been extending the unemployment benefits. On the COVID-19 front, COVID cases and deaths continue to rise and hospitalizations are climbing at an alarming rate. Currently, there are 61,964 people hospitalized in the United States. This is up around 27,350 from one month ago when we had 34,615 hospitalized. Out of the 61,964 people that are hospitalized, 11,952 of them are currently in the intensive care unit and 3,205 are on ventilators. I will leave a link to the website in the description so you can follow these numbers daily. The average daily cases in the United States is at 124,556. This is up around 35,000 cases from last week. The average daily deaths is 1,041. This is up around 170 per day from last week. Worldwide, the average daily cases continues to grow tremendously at 567,543 new cases. This is up around 53,000 new cases from last week. And the average deaths per day is at 8,148, up around 1,300 per day from last week. The airport in Charleston, South Carolina was evacuated due to a suspicious package. The package was found in the baggage screening area. The bomb squad moved the package off-site and the airport was reopened. No word, as of yet, what was in the package. As far as the election goes, there is no new news to report other than Georgia has initiated a hand recount for all their votes. If you would like the latest election news, just check out my video that I did yesterday, and that'll bring you up to speed. That's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching the No Opinion News Network. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you know when I go live or upload another video. I'm Chris, and this has been your Wednesday, November 11th, 2020 Daily News Briefing. Have a wonderful Veterans Day.